Hi, I'm, I'm Murray John and uh, I'm going to show you my garden. It's in Tenby in Pembrokeshire, which is a beautiful walled town, uh, a Norman town. And we're going to have, particularly have a look at the walls here, which are really, really lovely. Um, there we go. Now, this is two square yards of wall and the wealth of insects and flora in this wall are astonishing. The wall is probably about 200 years old at least and it's made of, uh, of limestone with lime mortar with little rough chips of, of slate and coal and uh, probably a bit of earth that's fallen out of the wall creating these crevices and little holes for the wildflowers to grow into. And there are quite a few here. I mean, this is a, an old rose. It's been in the garden for years and years and years. This wall has been warmed by the sun. Further down the wall here, we've got ivy-leafed toad flax. These are little uh, ivy-looking leaves with tiny little flowers. It's very, very pretty. We've got this beautiful little fern-like thing called spleenwort coming out from the gap between the paving stones we have this stinking iris it's called and it, it's very low, low down the food chain in the iris world um, it's called stinking I think because of this um, they say that if you crumple up the leaves and smell them not very nice but not particularly bad I wouldn't call it stinking there's a navel wart it grows straight out of the wall and then goes straight up vertically. Fantastic. None of these plants, none of these flowers would would survive in a modern concrete or brick wall pointed to within an inch of its life. Well, I'm on a campaign to save these old walls um, and to conserve them using original materials. Without these walls, many of these wildflowers just wouldn't survive.